In this screencast, we are going to see how we can uh, start with the Django Redux. Uh, so basically, Django Redux uh, is a Django library which gives the sign up and the sign in uh, uh, features into the existing Django project. So if you give Django Redux registration, so you will be lending to this particular web, uh, website where is uh, the required documentation for how to start with the Django Redux. So let us start with creating a Django project first and then we'll add this Django Registration Redux as a app. So what we can do is let's create a folder uh, called Django Redux and go inside the Django Redux folder and as we know we have to start working with creating a virtual environment first so let's create a virtual environment first and moment you create a virtual environment need to activate the virtual environment by giving source bin activates so now you have the virtual environment activated and in this screencast we are going to uh, use the Django 2.2.9 so essentially Django 2 is the LTS release uh, so if you can br browse through the Django uh, official documentation and go to the download section uh, you will have the latest version which is 3.0 uh, but uh, you can also uh, use essentially when we work on any project we use the LTS release latest LTS release so latest release is 2.2.9 so we will be installing Django 2.2.9 so what we can do is we can say pip install Django 2.2.9 and this will install the Django LTS latest release so this will take couple of second and once once this process is completed then we need to start a Django project and if you in case if you are getting some sort of warning something like this so better you should upgrade the pip so how you can upgrade the pip is by giving this command uh, which will upgrade the pip within the virtual environment if you wanted to upgrade the pip inside globally uh, you have to do it within the system not within the virtual environment so once uh, now pip is also uh, successfully upgraded now what we have to do is we have to create a django project so we can say django admin start project django redux and since we have already created a Django, created a Django uh, folder, sorry, folder called Django Redux, uh, we, we are going to consider the same folder as a project folder. So we have to give a space and dot, and this will create a Django project within the existing folder. Now we have to migrate it and moment you migrate then you will have the default database in sqlite uh, and then let's say python manage.py create super user so we are creating the super user here and then if you run the server so essentially your project uh, would be running so if you go on 127 0.0.18000 port you will have the django running and then if you go to the admin panel uh, essentially you would be you should be able to log in into the admin panel which is the blank Django uh, project right uh, then what we have to do is we have to install the Django 
uh, Redux registration. So as we have seen the documentation, if you scroll down, you have the quick start guide. And uh, on the quick start guide, there are a couple of uh, methods of installation. So the very first is uh, pip method. So we'll be using the pip method here. So within uh, the virtual environment, you have to install the Django Redux registra registration Redux. And once uh, it is installed, then you have to further browse through the documentation. And then there are some sort of basic configuration and usage. Uh, in the basic configuration and usage, uh, there's something is there like you note know, the default workflow requires Django country auth. So we need to check whether this particular app library is there in the Django project or not. So what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to go to the repository which we have created. So this is the project which we have created and uh, as you can see Django country auth already we do have and then it says like and it is recommended that Django country site be installed as well so let's copy Django country dot sites and this uh, there is a particular uh, uh, order like where we have to keep the Django dot country dot sites so as we can see like the very first uh, app is django country dot sites so we have to go on top and and we have to add this one and then uh, registration should be also there so this registration is uh, same django registration redux uh, so we can go to the installed app section and we can add the Django registration uh, Django registration redux apps which is registration and then Django country admin so I think this already we do have Django country admin and this one like account activation days uh, 7 based on your requirement you can keep it 7 or whatever you want and the registration auto login true so we need to add this uh, we need to add this uh, in the settings.py and then we have to move on and then it says once you've done this you have to migrate so let us start with Python manage.py migrate and the migration done successfully and then let us move forward and now the next step is to set up the URL uh, in the URL uh, the project URL uh, we need to add this so let us copy this one and go to the project URL section and in project URL let us add this and as you can see like uh, Django version 2 onwards uh, you know they use path instead of URL whereas uh, you know so we have to also use the path itself so let's use path and since you have used a path so it should be like this and we need to also include here and moment uh, we add the URL then let's move on and let's download the all templates which uh, Django registration Redux are using so if you go through the github repository of Django Redux registration Redux you will have uh, the all the templates which uh, this particular library is using so if you go to the registration there is a 
templates so all the templates like activation how uh, what message will come when user will be completing the activation and all login logout all sort of thing so what we need to do here is we need to just download in the zip file and moment you download just uh, extract it and let's uh, add it into the project so this is the project folder now we have to create a new folder here called templates and inside templates let's create another folder called uh, registration right so registration and let's go to the downloaded templates now here If you go to the templates now so this registration template uh, we need to copy all and we need to paste it inside the registration directory so once uh, we have added this all template into the registration directory then what we have to do is we have to go uh, inside the settings and inside the settings there is a template uh, directory here right so the template uh, you have to add the required path so let's say we are since uh, and this particular path you have uh, already mentioned here also OS path right so you can say OS path join and paste and name of the folder which we have and then save this one uh, so moment you add the path of the template then you have to also add the site ID so what we need to do here is go in the settings.py and add site ID equals to 1 and this site ID is essentially the Django site ID moment you uh, complete the site uh, this but these particular settings now if you go and run this uh, project and you you browse through the now here uh, here as per the tutorial I mean tutorial documentation if you browse through if you browse through the accounts and accounts uh, register here so essentially you should be able to log uh, browse to the accounts register no this is not working uh, so maybe uh, the template uh, or template I mean system is unable to find the template right so what now we have to do is we have to just uh, identify what exactly uh, maybe let's check migration is we have completed the migration or not So I think we have completed all the migration. Uh, now to explore the issues, I think we have added the site ID equals to one. Also, we have 
the template uh, folder also let's see what uh, defined the following order so I think the templates uh, unable to match the templates right so let's check it out the 404 let's check it out the URL So we'll identify uh, what exactly the issue is and we can proceed with uh, we can proceed with this uh, uh, Django Redux registration in coming session.